my Ennies and Nevis, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome to the Ennies and Nevis family. I promise you, your time here won't be a boring one. All right, guys. So I'm feeling hot and sweaty, but I came on to say, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell that tells you when I do another upload. All right, guys. So this video this video is about how i packed a barrel from new jersey to st kitts how i shipped my barrel from new jersey to st kitts guys this is just for you for educational purposes um every time i go on vacation my idea of vacationing has to do with me being comfortable when i return home meaning that the money that i take to vacation with I must have food in my house when I return and I don't be behind in certain stuff. So every time I plan to go overseas, I always put into my budget buying food because here in St. Kitts and Nevis, the food stuffs are so expensive. Things are escalating, like prices are going high and it's like you're just living to pay bills. And so every time I go on vacation i would normally budget in packing a barrel and sending it back home so i got my barrel today and so i'm gonna share with you what the barrel contains i actually purchased the barrel at a convenience store um a grocery store for 40 us dollars and then i paid 170 to ship it to st kate's from new jersey so i'm gonna show you how the barrel is the barrel it's um one of those old time barrels for those of, of you who are familiar with the um paper barrel they normally have the they normally have the um the plastic barrels but they i was told that they prohibit shipping food in those plastic barrels they are mostly used to ship like toiletries and disinfectants and stuff like that so i'm going to show you the items i purchased and also what how i packed the barrel i already moved this stuff out of the barrel in order to bring it into the house so i'm just going to show you and let you know how i packed the barrel okay guys so yeah so this is the barrel guys this is my barrel i spent like i said i spent 40 dollars it also comes with a lid and uh a lid and um what you call it, it comes with a lid and um a band to close off that you can lock it lock the barrel with let me show you okay guys so this is the lid and this comes with this portion here so you can pull make sure you seal your barrel and you seal the barrel and you pull this and then it has a lock here that you can uh, hold to put your lock in, okay? So what I did, I actually sealed my barrel around the rim. I sealed the barrel around the rim with tape so that no one can go in without me knowing. And also if the seal is broken, I would know. So that's how I actually put my barrel. Um, I put the seal, I'll use a gray tape, just as the same thing like here. I use a gray tape. so. When they opened it to, today at customs, the guy had to break the, the lock. So I know definitely that it was not tampered with. Okay. So yes. So guys, I'm going to share with you the items I purchased. Like I purchased foil paper, dish liquid, barbecue sauce, milk, vinegar, um, oats oats like stuff i would normally use every single day salt about seasoning mayonnaise peanut butter ketchup mustard and relish about a 50 pound pack of rice and also i think it's a 24 25 pound pack of rice i also bought okay guys so i don't remember where i left off but yeah i was saying that i purchased all these items let me show you these items on the table some are on the floor like the rice so i'm gonna show you everything that i purchased but i'm also gonna tell you what 
tell you so what i did i bought some mail and what i did i taped around the head just in case if the cover come loose or they are being pushed upon so i actually taped the bottom taped the sides and the um the covers i also bought this 20 i think it's 25 pounds of yes 25 pounds uh basmati rice 20 pounds it's a 20 pound pack of basmati rice i also bought a 50 pound of long grain rice guys i actually i actually uh i'm gonna see if i can hold it <laughs> so this is a 50 pound long grain rice hold on I also bought a picnic size, picnic size, two ketchup, one relish, and one mustard. The Haynes family size pack. I also bought some cling wraps and some, I think I showed for the paper before, but yeah. I also bought um, coconut oil. So I already taped each one of these. I taped the heads and the size, the bottom. So that if the they get pressed upon and they might be forced the covers don't come loose so yeah i also bought an extra crunchy skippy this comes in two as you can see and guys let me tell you something i spent 400 us dollars in sam's club you can't buy in sam's club unless you have a shopper's you are a member of the Sam's Club. You are a Sam's Club member or you have a shopper's card. I also bought this Power Up Premium Trail Mix. I think I got this in um, one of the stores, maybe Ross or uh, Burlington. They normally we sell Nick's and Nap. So I pick up this. Um, I also bought some carnation milk. I bought two of these. I also bought some tuna fish of 10 each i bought two cases i also bought three of the adobo seasoning um i bought the super premium towels in a pack of 15 either 15 or 16 and i got it for 20 us the whole case i got it for 20 us i also bought this seeds of change i actually found this in um all the brisbane and sun here in st kate and I tried it, I love it. It's quinoa mixed with brown rice. All you have to do is just add um, a tablespoon of water and you put it in a skillet and you just heat it and you eat it. You can add your seasoning to it. It's really, really nice. Whatever you want to add to it, you can add to it, okay? So yeah, I also bought a formal dish liquid. I also taped the end and I also, what I also did was to put it in a plastic bag so that if it comes, if it bursts or spoots out, that it doesn't mess up the other food stuff that I had inside the barrel. And yeah, I also bought a can of cashew nuts, a can of cashew nuts. I think I got it for $8. I, most, of some of the, most of the stuff that I bought here, they were on sale. So, yeah, so what I got me is a garlic powder. I got me two black peppers, one coarse, one fine. Well, sorry, the two of them is coarse. Two coarse black peppers. Um, I also got me a maple syrup. This is a maple syrup, guys, but it's taped. I taped it from top to bottom so that it doesn't become loose so this is an organic maple syrup so this is what we use as a substitute for my sugar intake as i don't really use sugar and i also bought the badalia onion vinaigrette i bought two of these and i also bought the sweet baby raised honey barbecue sauce most of these items were purchased for my business of for those of you who know I have a little small catering business and I try to buy stuff that I would normally use every single day so when I go on vacation guys I actually plan budget put my money together and purchase these items okay 
So I also bought two of these, the Western, Western um, cooking is vegetable oil. I bought two of them. I also bought baking powder, a pack of two. Um, I also bought one second. A pack of baking soda guys this to wash and clean with and to um you know sanitize your your um your refrigerator so keep your your room smelling clean fresh whatever yes yeah, so i bought this um didn't spend a lot of money on the items because most of the items were on sale like i said before and uh, I made sure that I bought the important stuff. I didn't buy sugar or flour over there because I don't really like to buy them in the packs per se. I prefer having them buy locally so that I can really, you know, um, have them the way how I would want them. Because when you buy the packs, it's just that they, they wouldn't last long per se because I could get like a 10 pound pack of rice, not rice, sorry, flour and sugar. And it lasts me a long time. Okay, so I bought me some snacks. These are the fig bars, raspberry. These are vegan raspberry and blueberry. Um, I don't remember how much this pack had in, but I will check. And two, let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 32 of these bars in a pack um don't remember what the cost is because i also keep my receipts to know how i spent what would have been beneficial and if it worth spending so the 400 us that i spent i just wanted to have the 400 it was three something but it says 400 us and that's a thousand and eighty dollars ec so if me buy these stuff if i buy these stuff here it would have never come up to a thousand it would have been more over a thousand dollars especially that 50 pound pack of rice there i'm sure that that would have been nearly how much i bought it for no less than 20 us dollars right no less than 20 us dollars and i know that would have been so expensive especially the brand name of that long grain rice so guys I also bought me two bottles, two bottles of vinegar, um, distilled vinegar. Um, uh, these are mostly for my business, but they will also be your home as well. Um, so what I did, I bought some cereal, like oats, and I put them inside. I took them out of the boxes for um lessening the space that they will take up inside the barrel because more stuff will come in box like the, the um the vinegar came in a box but i took them out the box taped the head and packed them in nicely so that this also these oats became in a pack of two and i removed them from the box i think it's the old fashioned oats yes it came in a pack of two and i just put them out of the box and put them in this Burlington bag for safekeeping and so even if they come loose that they don't um throw away they can still remain in the bag and I could just scoop it out and pack it up okay so I also have some Norton some Norton salt these were, were in boxes and the boxes get a little squished but I put them in a plastic bag because I know I forgot to take the whole bottom of the box but nonetheless they are in a plastic so 
when the salt came out of the, the boxes, they can go directly inside the plastic and I can reuse the same salt, okay? So I bought this salt for $2.49 or uh, $2.29, something like that. Where could I get this in St. Kitts and Nevis for $2.49? Where? Tell me where. So it's very economical. I'll start going. It's very economical when you know what you need, you buy what you need, you have the money to spend to eliminate the spending back at home because this can carry me a long way. All I would have to do is to buy um, little peppers, onions here and stuff like that. So that doesn't really um, bother me if I have to spend to buy these stuff. It's, uh, it was a sacrifice for me and i am happy that i already um got this stuff oh one thing i forgot one thing that i am happy about is that they came safe they were not damaged um nothing was lost it took about three weeks i think three weeks i came back on the 29th of august and today is the 20 something the 21st so maybe close to a month you could say close to a month three weeks to a month it took to be here so i bought these olive oil spray in a pack of two um just because you don't want to use much oil you just you know have this to eliminate the lot of oil that you use my chips got squished but that's okay we can have dips I tried to not have too much items on me when I was coming to the airport, guys. That's why I put the chicken in the bag, and that's why they're so pushed up. I'm looking for my honey. I purchased a honey. I'm looking to find out where I put the honey. Um, so it can share the honey with you. Um, yeah. I put the honey somewhere, 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 somewhere. So, guys, this is an organic honey. in a plastic bag so if it gets squeezed out i can actually have it to use so it will be in a little jack um yeah but me and plug it in this is a member's mask um b proud pure honey and i also wrap the head with plastic and i put it in a plastic bag so that just in case if it comes loose it pour out inside the bag and not on my stuff so guys, this is the last item I purchased, and I actually purchased a uh, bread, uh, an everyday bread by Dash. It's a, it's ceramic, it's ceramic. So you can have your nice veggies at home. It's electric. I bought this for thirty US dollars, and I know if this was here in Saint Kitts, it would have cost an arm and a leg, right? So yeah. So this is my haul how i pack my barrel let me show, let me tell you what i did first i put the rice down to the bottom because the rice is more heavy and it it helps as a um, balance for the other items to pack on so i put the two pack, packs of rice at the bottom and then i pack the cans like the tuna and the, the milk and then i add any other cans on top of it and then I add the plastic around the, the perimeter of the barrel and I put the napkins were the last the paper towels were between to not for not having the items to rub against each other especially like these they were also in between and on top so I closed off my barrel with the paper towels Right, so I pack accordingly. I put the stuff that I think that are, is most delicate on the top so that there's no pressure applied to the top. Everything stays at the bottom, and I put the vinegar and the oil around. Also, um, I think what I did was to make sure that the, the sides are protected just in case, with regards to uh, moving the barrel left and right and squeezing it. that 
none of my stuff got squeezed and burst open so i am happy for that that was not done and yeah guys packing my barrel was is a, it was a breeze i packed my barrel in 30 minutes or less i bought my items like today and then i packed my barrel a day after i was making sure that i had everything everything that i needed and then i packed my barrel and it took no time for me to pack my barrel all i had to do was just tape the head put in the stuff pack on top of each other and then close off the barrel put on the lid and the um the fastener and put in my lock so when i purchased my lock it's make sure lock and key so when it got here i have my key to open my barrel and so i know for sure that my barrel was not tampered with i also laced the the perimeter of the the lid of the barrel with tape the same color is a gray of the barrel rim so i know for sure that my stuff were not tampered with and they were not damaged so i'm happy for that i am saying to you that first and foremost as i said before as i said before when i go to when i go on vacation i always think about food because when you reach back you still have to go find money if you didn't put money aside you still have to find money to stack back up on what you would have used before or whatever the case may be so i always incorporate having a barrel pack and send home okay so that's it for you guys i hope that you um get what i'm sharing this is not about boasting or anything like that i am just sharing with you how i pack my barrel and how convenient it is it was so all i had to do Oh, it came to carib chance i gave the gentleman 170 us dollars to get it shipped from new jersey to st kitts and um, when it came here royal logistics was well is royal logistics is their their agent so i had just paid 65 ec dollars to get my manifest my document to take to the port or the a and c port here in st kitts and nevis um and then I was charged eight dollars so it's economical worldwide to shop overseas because we know that the prices here are escalating yes yeah, so I could say that I spend maybe about 600 US dollars and this include shipping handling um, taking out of the port buying the, the, the items everything were included okay so this is my tip to you when you go on vacation, just don't think about vacationing. Yes, it's important to relax and rest, but it's also important because vacation won't, won't last all the time. You still have to come back to earth. You still have to come back to reality and make sure that you have items in your house stock out for you too. We don't splurge and then we don't, at the end of the day, we don't have anything else. So that's my heart for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And you there's some something from this video that draws you and make you think about doing your own stuff when you're on vacation next time for those i'm talking about in the caribbean because i know if you're in the us you don't need to pack no barrel but for us in the caribbean we would want to have items that we don't have to go to shop every day to spend and we can see ourselves having stuff for a long period of time okay so that's it for you guys i hope that you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on that post notification bell that tells you when i do another upload i just want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers for subscribing to this channel for me to your time here won't be a boring one guys thank you so much all right guys so it's bye guys take care